This is the place. Time to burn some cargo. I never lose! like a Spartan. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse? I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Alexios. I'd thank you too if I knew who you were. Razidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too. An old Spartan tactic? I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa has her Atera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy. The monger. We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. What do you want to do with him? Right now, the monger rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal bloodshed. He'll only be dethroned if he's killed. It's simple. 
Yes. Diplomacy isn't something he understands. From what I hear, I'm not surprised. We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. It never came to be. The only thing left to try is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. By the time I leave Corinthia, the monger will be dead. Do that, and Sparta will be in your debt. I was Spartan once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Aegetos as a child and left for dead. You're the son of General Nicolaus? All of Sparta knows your name! And here you are, alive! Impossible! I survived. I raised myself alone while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. Those of good character will forgive and should be forgiven. I'm on the hunt for my mother, Merini, and the only way is through Anthusa. Yes, Merini. You knew Nicolaus. A good general, but a stubborn Spartan. And rewarded for his loyalty. Devoted to Sparta until the end. I'm sorry. You heard of his death? I did. A shame. You don't know anything about Merini, do you? I know that no one should have to endure such tragedy alone. And I heard she left Sparta that night. No one has forgotten Merini. From what I know, she wanted them to forget. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. Uh, they couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Dracidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage.
That's Hippocrates' clinic. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order, prostrate himself before the gods, and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. So many sick people. Can one man help all of them? Come on.
So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. Huh. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Alexios of Sparta. What did you come here for, Alexios of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... You know. My what? Your hair. Or lack of it. Yes. Yes. Make your jokes while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. Where should I look for your notes? For Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them, if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffer terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago, with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. <laughs> 